Good morning, everybody. Sorry, it took me a second. I'm trying to figure out how you can see me and how I can read <laughs> at the same time. Today is Monday. Let me check the date. April 20th, um, 2020. Um, I am recording this lesson and it's a Sunday and I just went on an epic, epic, beautiful bike ride today. Um, so I figured now is the time to start in on my lessons. So the book I am reading is called Microbiology of ABCs. And we're going to work a little bit on our letter sounds and just kind of talk about what we're seeing here. And the alphabet. Hey! Might do some more of these during the week. I kind of like them. Okay, so this is not the best angle of me, but whatever. Okay, A makes the A ah sound, and A is for amoeba. And sometimes the A makes an A ah sound, but this is an amoeba. This is a cell, guys. This is something you can't see. I thought this book was fitting because we're kind of getting a crash course in uh, what a virus is a little bit. So it says, all living things are made of cells. Amoebas are living organisms made of just one cell. We are living organisms made of many cells. B makes a B sound. B is for B cell. Look at this B cell. So if you were to look in a microscope, which we talked about last week, you can see something that's super tiny that you can't see with your eyes and it makes it bigger so then you can see it. B cells are made in our bones and help fight infections. So those are the good cells. C is for chloroplast and C makes a k sound. I know this there's a CH here. In this word it does not make a ch sound so just so you know. Sometimes it doesn't make the ch sound. The English language likes to be a little confusing. Chloroplasts are found in plant cells. They transform sunlight into energy for the cell. So you can only find chloroplast cells in plants. They don't, they're not in humans. That's actually why plants are green, is because of all these little chloroplast cells. D is for DNA. Let's erase that. DNA is like a blueprint for the cell. It provides instructions for how to build proteins. This is a DNA strand and it tells you everything about you. It says if you're gonna have blue eyes, brown hair, long hair, curly hair, dark hair, it does everything. It's all in your DNA. Your DNA tells your body how to grow things. E is for E. coli. E. coli is a bacteria that can make us sick with diarrhea. So E. coli is not good and it will make you sick. That's why we got to wash our fruits and vegetables and uh, wash our hands. F is fla flagella. A flagella is a tail for sails. Oh look! G is for Golga, Gol Golgi. Man, I haven't heard these words since like high school. The Golgi helps Golgi. The Golgi help make the transport proteins within a cell. So when you look at a cell, there's actually little parts in a cell. So it gets even smaller. H is for H pylori. H. pylori is a bacteria that can give us a bad stomach ache. I is for influenza. Influenza is the name of a virus that causes the flu. So here is another virus. It's a different kind of virus than what we hear about. And it is a strain, a different kind of virus that is the flu. The COVID-19 virus is not the flu, but they're both viruses. J is for cell junction. Cell junctions help cells stay together and communicate. It is like a bridge between two cells. So there's the cell junction. K makes a k sound and is for natural killer cell. 
Natural killer cells destroy cancer cells as well as cells infected with virus. That's pretty cool. Those are the good cells. L makes a O. L is for lysome, lysosome. Lysosome is like the cell's stomach. Lysosomes can even vomit, vomit waste out of the cell. So that is a lysosome cell, and it is in the, the in your stomach. M is for mitochondria. You're gonna hear this word a bunch in high school. Mitochondria are parts of the cell that make energy. So this is what gives you energy. N is for nucleus. The nucleus holds and protects a cell's DNA. So here's the cell. Remember, we're all made of cells. And then in the middle of the cell, there's tiny little parts. And there's the nucleus. O makes a A or O. And it is for organelles. Specialized cell parts are called organelles. For example, the nucleus and goglia are organelles. P is for plasma membrane, and it makes a p sound. The plasma membrane of a cell is like its skin. It holds the cell together and protects it from bacteria and viruses. So here is the plasma membrane. Q makes a qu. Q is for Q fever. Q fever is a disease caused by this bacteria, which can actually hide inside some of your cells. That's interesting. So this cell is so tiny, it can actually hide itself in cells. So it's probably hard to detect if you are sick with Q fever. R makes a R. R is for rods and cones. Rods and cones are special cell types in the eye. They detect light and send a signal to the brain for us to see. Oh, look. Yep, those are in your eye. They're called rods and cones, and they, they catch all the light so you can see. So those, there's little tiny rods and cones in your eyes. S is for smooth endoplasmic rec, rec, retic, reticulum. I'm having flashbacks at high school. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is an organelle that manufactures many compounds and makes poisonous chemicals safer for the cell. That's pretty cool. So it's kind of like it makes, makes things for cells. T is for T cell. And it makes a T. T cells can help keep us safe by fighting bad cells and viruses. T cells are made in the part of the body called the thymus. Those are the good cells. That's what we need. That's what helps keep us nice and healthy. U is for unicellular, unicell and you make the uh sound, or in this case the U sound, but uh. Unicellular means made of just one cell, like this paramecium, whereas multicellular means made of two or more cells. So this is a unicellular cell. It's just one little cell. V is for virus. V. Viruses are very small microscopic structures that infect other cells. This virus illustrated infects bacteria. Look at these virus cells. W, w is for cell w, wall. Plant cells and bacteria have an extra layer of protection around them called a cell wall. So in every cell, no matter what shape it is, if it's circle, this is another shape of a chloroplast, whatever kind of cell, there's always this cell wall to keep it safe. Just like you have walls in your home. Keeps you safe. X makes a X. I always think of that when I hear the word that. It is for xylem. In this case, the X is quiet and it makes a Z sound because, once again, the English language just loves confusing us. 
Xylems are found inside plants and they help to move water and nutrients around. So these cells are basically the transporters of water inside a plant. So I'm sure the water and the nutrients passes along cell to cell, helps things grow. Y makes a wuh, or in, in this case it makes a y sound. So Y is for yeast, y, yeast. Yeast is a type of unicellular animal cell. There are many different types of yeast. Some help our body, others hurt it. Still, others we use to make in making bread. You use yeast in bread. Yeast is alive, it helps the bread grow. Pretty cool. So this is a yeast cell. There's different kinds of yeast. Pretty neat. I, there's a cell wall around it. Oh look, here's the cell wall that we just kind of talked about. Z is for z zooplankton. Zooplankton, such as these rotifers, are tiny microscopic animals that live in water. Without these microscopic critters, marine life in the oceans would not be possible. So yes, we need those. I think that's what whales eat, is zooplankton. I think. Anyway, we need these. We need all the cells for the most part. All right, now you know your microbiology ABCs. What is the keyword I want you to know? Microbiology. And we went over the alphabet. We did our letters and sounds. You heard a lot of words you have never heard before, I'm sure. Um, I wanted you to read this book so you just kind of get an idea of some future words that you're going to be learning about further down the road. All right, that is my literacy lesson for today. I want you to write the ABCs, go over all the letters and sounds, and see if you can copy one of the letters what the cell is, draw the picture, and write what's under it. Just copy it. That's all I want you to do is copy all of this. Okay, so go back through the book, and when you go back through the book, you can just go through the video, rewind it, and just pick one that stands out for you. Okay, so let's say I want to draw the virus. Okay, so I'm going to copy the V, Okay, I'm going to write the word virus, and then I want you to draw the picture, and then I want you to copy this. The reason why I want you to copy it is because I want you to see a nice, beautiful sentence with a capital and period. All right, and like I said, write down the alphabet if you like, and go over the alphabet letters and sounds. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Get outside, get some fresh air, and I will see you later.